Hi there, my name's Christian Wright. I work for Avaya Australia and New Zealand. I'm a systems engineer and I specialise in the small and medium enterprise portfolio. Today, I'm going to take you through the installation of one of our flagship products in that portfolio, which is Avaya's IP office. So I have here today all the components I need to take you through that basic, very basic installation. I have an IP500 control unit, this is a version 2 control unit. I have a system SD card, which is used for the operating system and the customer's configuration. I have a combination card, one of our more popular newer cards, which allows us to terminate Avaya phones as well as trunks and provide IP media resources in the system and so on. I have various uh, cables here to connect my telephones. I have a screwdriver here to enable me to install this combination card into the control unit. I have an earth strap, very important so that I don't damage my electronic equipment, power cord, and my telephones are over here. Once I install all of this, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee and after I make this cup of coffee you should see that the system is operational up and running and we'll prove that by placing some telephone calls into those. So with that, here we go. So firstly, I'm going to remove my IP office control unit from its box. So taking all the packaging out as such. So we'll get rid of that packaging over there. And here's my IP office control unit. This is how it ships here. It has four blank covers over its media bay modules. On the back here, this is various termination points for expansion modules. Uh, that system SD card goes in here, and this is where we're going to connect our power cable. Okay, So that's how it ships there. So with that first, what I'm going to do is install the um, combination card into the chassis here. So this uh, particular slot here, which already appears to be slightly loosened, we'll just loosen that out there. And we're going to install our combination card into that. So uh, we'll just put that aside there for the moment. And we'll take our combination card out of the box. So there it is in its anti-static bag. <coughs> Get rid of some of the packaging. So first things first, we'll put on my anti-static wristband. As, so we don't want to damage our electronic equipment. I'm just going to attach it at one of the termination points at the back of the unit here. Okay, so. Here's our combination card. So this just slots straight into this vacant slot at the front here. So there's a couple of guiding rails in the front. It's just a matter of placing the rails into the guide and it should just clip into, into the place just like that. Okay. Now, to finalise the installation, we just need to secure that screw in the front. Okay, that should be screwed in nice and tight there. So, that's our combination card installed. We don't need to install any other components here. In fact, this box here can support up to 384 users and 240 trunks. Haven't got all those installed today, but that's what we've got to work with, just with these phones here. So, just remove my strap. I don't need that on anymore. And we're going to connect in the secure digital card, which launches the operating system and the customer's configuration. There's a default configuration on this, and as you'll see when we connect the phones, that default configuration will put all the phones into a standard hunt group and give them all extension numbers and assign features straight away. So this particular card goes in the main system SD slot there. Okay, so that's installed there. Right. Now, telephones. Just take these patch leads and find a digital port, connect a cable. Find another digital port and connect the cable. And this particular one we'll use for our Avaya analog phone. So we find an analog port, and analog ports on this um, card are slots 7 and 8. Like that. So with that cable there, this is our Avaya analog telephone. It's a hybrid system, it supports analog devices. Plug that in there, and just put that on the front there. And we'll take the one of the digital connections and plug that into the Avaya digital phone. This is a 1408 digital telephone. Okay. And we'll get the other lead from the digital port and plug that into the Avaya 1403 digital phone. Okay. So we've got our three phones there. Last thing to do is connect the power. So we have our power cable here. So with that, just as a reminder, there's the power connector at the back. Okay, standard power cable, just plug that in. And the other end obviously goes into the general power outlet. Happen to have one here. 
and there we go. Now you'll notice the system firing up with the red and green lights there. It's going through its normal boot process and testing some certain parameters and loading the operating system. With that I'll go away and make a cup of coffee. We'll come back in about three minutes and hopefully this will be ready to go. We'll do some phone calls and so on, show you some features to prove it all out. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back. Cup of coffee. Tastes great. And a phone system should be up and running, our IP500. So let's have a look here. We've got, uh, yes, this particular phone has already been given an extension 205. This one over here, extension 203. And our analogue phone, that'll be extension 207 because it's plugged into the seventh port on the control unit there. So let's have a quick call there, just test a few things out. We'll dial extension 205. Extension 205 rings. Answer that just by pressing the speaker key and there's our phone call there. So we'll just hang that up there now. And right now let's test a call which has all phones together, a conference call there. So with that I'm going to come from extension 205, dial this phone first and then dial the other one. Zero, uh, 203, answer that phone there, put the speaker on, that guy's talking there. Now I'm going to place that call on hold, dial extension 207 over here. 207 rings, take that off there, it's working, and to do a conference call, simple as this, press the conference key, and we're all talking together. So there you have it folks, that's uh, installing an IP500 from scratch, simple as that. Thanks for your time, look forward to seeing you on the next uh, video we do for IP500.